Jesus, hallelujah. We give you glory, Jehovah. We are here for you, Jesus. We are here for you, almighty God, Jehovah. We bless you. Thank you for your love, Jesus, this morning. Thank you for your love, almighty God. We are under your cover, Jesus. We declare, Jehovah, we are under your care, Jehovah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way, oh.
So, for those of us who are here, you can sit for the church announcement. And we thank God for the praise and worship this morning. Amen. Yes, I will pray and hope that we will be blessed. So, the announcements for today uh, prophetic focus for the year 2020 is a uh, manifested glory according to Isaiah 62 the will of God for us this year is to make us as a church and as individuals the clear and visible expression of the invisible glory in our generation a much prophetic focus we are saying that we have no more excuses that I must and we must break through this month the Lord is saying to us from Ecclesiastes 11 4 whoever watches the wind will never plant whoever looks at the clouds will never harvest so this month we are saying there are no excuses for mediocrity and forgiveness, anger and bitterness, and for sin. No excuses for prayerlessness. No excuses for failures and poverty. No excuses for not coming to church, including Corona. Uh, our daily devotion continues on social media, WhatsApp and Facebook. So we are encouraged to stand in the gap in prayer for our families and our country daily. And then the Bible reading challenge still goes on. And this week, we are in the book of 1 Samuel. And we are encouraged again to spend a minimum of at least 15 minutes daily to fellowship and meditate upon the word of God. Uh, the daily Bible reading highlights, uh, we are encouraged to read the Bible the same way you eat daily, so that we can boost our hunger for the word and guide our evening prayer during our 40 days of prayer. And we have started the DBRH, which is part of our day, which is also included in our daily devotion. So be blessed as you commit to read, meditate, and pray. The midweek Bible study on Tuesday is still continuing in pastor's office. And the theme is the church that makes an impact according to the books of the Salonians, uh, according to the book of the Salonians. And time is from 10.30 to 11.15. Penial Spiritual Warfare Platform still holds again from 10.30 to 12.30 at Pastor's Office. And the theme of the month is delivered and translated according to Colossians 1.13. Uh, 6 to 6 fasting this week is still on on Wednesday. And the prayer guidelines will be provided on social media. No more excuses. And then uh, we are in the 40 days of recovery and restoration. Uh, so it will continue until Sunday, 12th April. So we are asked to set apart 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes in the evening, so that is an hour per day, to pray for the recovery and the restoration of whatever the enemy has damaged or stolen. And then the next Sunday, March 20, 22nd March 2020, we will still have an online service as today until further notice. So. Uh, I'd like to welcome Pastor for the next part of the service. <coughs> welcome to all of you who are online and those who are on ground. Can we clap for the Lord for the beautiful church we have having in the presence of God? So, all the glory to our God. And the Lord bless all of you who are online following uh, the service. I hope you are enjoying these moments in the presence of God. May the Lord continue to bless all of you. I mean all of us as we continue to wait upon Well, the service today, until further notice, we all know what is going on all over the world. So there is no need to say more. However, 
The question is this. What is the law saying in such a moment like this? <clears throat> what is the law saying to us as church, as individuals, as nations? What is the Lord saying? The scripture today is in Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10. Isaiah 3, 10, the Bible says, if you have your Bible, you can open and read from where you are. The Bible says, tell the righteous, it shall be well with you. Amen. Now, I just want to let you know today, it shall be well with us. Praise God. Now, wherever you are, no matter who you are, I don't care what is happening in the world. We care because we are part of the world. But something important to know today, God says it shall be well with us. Can we all say it shall be well with us? Shall be well. Can we say with boldness it shall be well with us? Shall be well with us. So that is what God is saying. So our core scripture today is in Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10. <coughs> now when we say that it shall be well, it is not a mere um, slogan. The reason why I say it shall be well, because the Bible says very clearly that for all those who are living, there is hope. Amen. So why am I saying that it shall be well? I say it shall be well because there is hope for all the living. Now, are you living? Yes. If you are living, I want you to know that there is hope. And watch this. Watch this. That virus will come to an end in Jesus' name. Amen. I mean, it shall be well. Please can we share the message to everybody? Tell them it shall be well. The world will not come to an end because of the virus. It shall be well. It shall be well. I mean, I don't, I, I mean, I don't want to know how it shall be well, but one thing I want to know that God says that it shall be well. Praise God. Now, I want to read with you some scriptures, and I want you to believe the word of God. Now, the second word God is giving us today is in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. <laughs> Second Chronicles 7 14, the Bible says, If my people, can we read, please open your Bible? Read in Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. The Bible says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land. Now, God is telling us today, he shall heal the earth. Now, if, if you want a topic for today's message, all those Sundays, there, there will be no, you know, I mean, we'll be getting the message as the Lord is giving us the word. Now, take the message, the topic, the theme, the theme of today. It shall be well, the Lord will heal the earth. 
Amen. Amen. Now take note, take note. Wherever you are, take note. And you know, you know, we, we, we are in a moment where we need to hook unto the word of God. <laughs> Praise God. Each say, like, okay, let's say one, two, three. It shall be well, the Lord will heal the earth. No, let not, you know, that virus is is it is worldwide. So you're not about Kenya. Amen. Now, please, from faith in your heart, declare one, two, three. It shall be well, the Lord will heal the earth. Now, you know, because I have put the, the two scriptures together, Isaiah chapter 3, verse 10, where God says, Tell the righteous. So, what is the message for today? Say, okay, tell the word of life. It shall be well. Jen, it shall be well. I mean, it shall be well. And stop wavering at it. But so, I mean, it shall be. Now, God said also, yeah, it shall be well. Because I will heal the land. Praise God. Amen. So that is the promise God is giving us today. But watch this. Watch this. God says he will heal the land. But you will not heal the land just that way. There are few stuff. I mean, there are steps to take as a result of the healing. I mean, before the healing takes place, there are steps to take. First of all, God says, if my people shall humble themselves. Watch what is happening in the world. That is what God is telling me. God is telling me that the reason why that virus is worldwide, it is to humble the pride of men. To do what? To humble the pride of men. I mean, the, 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 the authorities of a country like Italy, they are crying for help. They say, we are helpless. Oh, we are helpless. We don't know what to do. The world, Abba, Abba, may God kill our pride today. Amen. Now, now, the virus that is killing us is not Corona. It is not Corona. Take note. The virus, the real, 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 real virus that is killing us is what? It is what? Pride. Pride is the real corona virus. The real virus is pride. And I will show you why God, you know, okay, listen to me, listen to me carefully. God wants to heal the earth from pride before he heals the, the earth from virus, corona. Right on, right on. <laughs> Lucy, you are right now. God, God wants to heal the earth from pride before he heals us from that virus. We are too proud. Can you imagine the president of the United States of America is calling for prayer? Praise God. He's calling for prayer. Because everybody, even those who are very proud of it, you know me, I travel, I mean, I can go to America, I come back, you know, I just go two days, three days, I'm back, you know, I can go, t I mean, I mean, you know, you know, you know, I mean also come together with pride, I mean, <laughs> I was in London, 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 now, it's not about London. It's about stay home. Stay what? Okay. <laughs> it's not about London. It's about London. Stay home. Stay home. I mean, me, I'm staying in the office since before even the Queen. <laughs> I'm already in my office. Stay home. So stop moving up and down. Do you know? Because you are moving up and down, God said, no, these people have stopped them for a while. Stay home. So God want to heal us from pride before he heals us. So it's not a big deal for God to heal from the virus. The virus. What is virus? God, I mean, I know God is healing people from 
HIV, he's healing people from terminal disease, he's bringing back the dead to life. So to heal a casual virus, is it a meaning for God? No! No! God is Abba. I, I mean, all the nations, they are calling for prayer. All the nations on the earth. Aki, I never knew that prayer is important until the virus comes. Now, when everything is okay, when everything is okay, you have your money, I have my car, I can travel. Ah, uh, you know, I mean, those prayers, you know, <laughs> uh, that is for the poor. God is, you, is bringing everybody on their knees. shall humble themselves. Number two, if they shall pray. So the second step God is saying for the healing of the land. I'm not praying for the healing of the virus. <laughs> God is healing another sickness. The sickness of what? Number one, what? Pride. Right. The second virus is the virus of prayerlessness. Okay. God is healing from the virus of prayerlessness. I mean, those are the viruses that are killing people. Well, 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 well. More than what we can call Corona. Number three, if they can seek my face. No, God is healing the third virus the virus of laziness, of spiritual laziness. <clears throat> because to seek the face of God, it takes labor. It takes working in the spirit. It takes fasting. It takes prayer. It takes setting a time, some minutes, you know. Even when we say, pray 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes in the evening. Well, for some people, <laughs> 30 minutes of prayer for what? Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, me, I'm, I'm, I'm so busy. Number four, is it number four? And turn from their wicked ways. The number four virus, not the real virus that we are fighting. <laughs> it is the virus of wickedness. The virus of what? Wickedness. Of wickedness. The virus of wickedness. Now, can we repeat the four viruses we are fighting? Virus number one. Pride. Virus number two. Prayerlessness. Prayerlessness. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Prayerlessness is a virus. Simple. <laughs> that is why you are spiritually weak. You are spiritually weak. We are spiritually weak. Uh -huh. The third virus. The virus of spiritual laziness. May you wake up and start praying in Jesus' name. You are struggling to wake up at night and pray. You are lazy. Now, God is saying, according to 2 Chronicles 7 14, I will heal the land. But before to heal the land, I am giving you the steps. My friend, what I'm teaching you is universal. It is universal. I mean, you can tell the nation, tell them, our pastor gave us the steps. If we want the land to be healed. Now, our pastor told us the real virus is not Corona. The real virus is pride. The real virus is prayerlessness. The real virus is laziness, spiritual laziness. The real virus it is wickedness. We are wicked. We are wicked, my friend. And God says, if you follow the four steps I 
I'm giving you, I will heal the land. How I pray that if worldwide we can humble ourselves and tell God, Lord, we are sorry, oh. we are very proud. We are sorry, oh. we are prayerless. We are sorry, we are spiritually lazy. If we can tell God, Lord, we are sorry, we are wicked, wicked, we are wicked. God says, if you repent, I will do what? I will forgive and I will do what? I will heal the land. Abba. <laughs> the Bible has everything, my friend. There are people who wait for trouble to pray. When everything is okay with the husband, oh, my happy, my happy, my happy, my happy, my pumpkin, my, 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 okay, anyway. <laughs> Oh, man. Um, why didn't you come to church? You know, I'm Pastor, I'm sorry, my my happy say that um, you should go to oh okay, you're happy. Wait until the virus will come. <laughs> that thing now when people will start looking for God. As I am a pastor, I know. I know there are people who will call me only when they are in trouble. No, when everything is okay, can you attend the Bible study? No. Can you come for Friday prayer? No, I'm busy. Uh, can you come for the Sunday service? No, I mean, I will, I'm, I'm on night shift. Now, now, night shift. <laughs> oh, man. Now you are at home. Today I don't want to take so long. I just want us to pray. Now, the question I'm asking as I proceed in my, in my message, not a sermon, because me, I don't have sermon, I have messages. Why, why do we believe it shall be well? I believe it shall be well because for all who are among the living, there is hope. Praise God. I want you to know today, as long as we are alive, there is hope. There is what? There is hope. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4. The Bible says, a living dog is better than a dead lion. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Can you spread the message worldwide? Tell them, our pastor say, there is hope. There is what? May you receive the hope of God today in Jesus' name. Amen. May you be hopeful. Because God says to us, it shall be well. Now, watch this. The second reason why I believe it shall be well, it's because of the covenant we have with God. Amen. Amen. Our God is the covenant-keeping God. Now, I want to prophesy over all of you, world of life, worldwide. None of you will be affected by the virus in Jesus' name. Amen. Because we are covered by the blood, because we are covered by the covenant we have with God, none of you will be touched in Jesus' name. Amen. You are covered, your family is covered, your children is, are covered, Everything that belongs to us is covered. That is why I believe it shall be well. Now, remember, remember, I told you last time, those, those who are watching, I mean, those who are following on WhatsApp, I told you that uh, God is the God who keeps his covenant. Israel was in the desert, I mean, was in Egypt. Whatever was affecting Egypt was not affecting Israel. So I would like you to know, that is why there is a scripture I want you to take note of. Go to Psalm 74, verse 20. Psalm 74, verse 20. The Bible says that you should take consideration of the covenant because the dark places of the earth are full of cruelty. Psalm 74, verse 20. The earth is full of cruelty. 
So that is why we must consider the covenant. For all those who keep the covenant with God, none of you will be touched in Jesus' name. Amen. So you are covered by the covenant. Now, you know your pastor will never be sick. I mean, I will. <laughs> I mean, even my office is corona free. Um, corona free. Uh, it's a corona free zone. <laughs> Why? Because we know we have a covenant with God, and our covenants preserve us from the assaults of the wicked one. Now, let me give you a simple and simple, simple definition of hope. What is hope? Let me define hope. Hope is a living expectation based on the word of God. Take note of the definition of hope. Hope, hope. What is hope? Hope is a living expectation based on the word of God, assuring a man that no matter how hard and uncertain the circumstances may appear now, it shall be well. <laughs> Let me repeat the definition. What is hope? Hope is a living expectation. Now, listen to me. I am defining it as a living expectation. May you always live expectant. Praise God. You know, a pregnant woman, they call her expectant. Am I right? Yes. When a woman is pregnant, they say she is expectant. Now, when a woman is expectant, even her behavior is different. Am I right? Yes. Women who have children and those who will have. An expectant woman has a way of walking. She walks slowly. Okay, I know my daughter Jane, when she was expectant, she was dancing two out. I mean, that is an ex exception. <laughs> or jumping and dancing, anyway. No wonder Edna is also jumping and dancing. An expectant woman, even the way she sleeps, she sleeps expectantly. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> An expectant woman, you 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 don't know. <laughs> even carrying weight. Okay, of course, if you have a caring man, then you know because sometimes, okay. You, he want, she want to carry weight, the man can say, no, 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 don't carry weight. Oh, you are expectant. Drop the, 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 the bucket, let me carry for you. Now, we are in a season where we have to drop unnecessary luggage. An, exp an expectant man does not carry luggage. Amen. You know, because I am expectant, I don't need to carry weight. May you drop all luggages to the feet of Jesus because you are expectant. You, you know, a, a woman who is not ex expectant, you will see how she will carry everything. She can go everywhere. She's carrying carry, uh, luggage everywhere. But an expectant one does not carry luggage. She wants to be light. Can, if you are really expectant, you will be light. You will be what? Light. Ah, my husband said this to me. My wife said this to me. I didn't sleep. Why didn't you sleep? I mean, because <laughs> I mean, because of this or because of that. My head or my my whatever. I am having trouble. I don't have peace. I don't have joy. Now, can you drop it because you are expectant? An expectant, an expectant woman watches the things she eats. Amen. She doesn't eat anything. Say, no, 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 don't eat that one. It will affect the baby. No, don't eat that 
one. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Don't go to some places because of what you carry. Praise God. So hope is hope is that living expectation, knowing that I carry a baby. You know what? You know what? Nobody under heaven can stress me. I mean, you will hear that every day. As long as I'm your pastor. Nothing can stress me because of I am pregnant. Praise God. And you know what? Expectation is like a woman who is pregnant. And she knows there are things I will not do because it will affect my baby. Am I talking? I cannot do because I will affect my baby. There are what? There are movies. I cannot watch it. Can affect my baby. I cannot be thinking something because it can affect my baby. So hope is like a woman is expectant. No, when God says it shall be well, it simply means God wants you to behave like an expectant woman who carries a baby and she knows it shall be well. And you know what? The church worldwide, we are expectant of the coming of the Lord. We are expectant that Jesus is coming back. We are expectant that things will be better. You know why Jesus is still tiring to come? Because that man must be saved. That woman must be saved. So we are expectant that there, it is not the end of the world. This virus will leave the earth forever. Praise be the living God. Now, the living hope based on the word of God. So, an expectant man, an expectant woman is expectant of the word of God. He carries the word. Believe me, I am, I am pregnant. I am what? Uh, Pastor, a man can be pregnant. Yeah, I am one. I am pregnant. I am pregnant of the blessing of God upon your life. I am pregnant of the blessing of God upon your life. I am pregnant of million, three million people who have to come to Christ through me. I am pregnant of a mega, mega church. I am pregnant of breaking through on every side. That is my pregnancy. No wonder I cannot behave anyhow. Because I know there are some things if I do, it will kill the baby I am pregnant of. Yes. Praise God. Now, I want to let you know, from now, we are closing three months already. What are you pregnant of? If you have a neighbor, ask him or her, what are you pregnant of? Ask him. No, ask him or her if you are in the sitting room, because I know you are. Ask Kimani, ask your wife. <laughs> because Kimani, bless you Kimani, Kimani, Mr. Kimani and Mrs. Chisa, I know you are there. Ask him, what is he pregnant of? Now, you, 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 you are planning to go back to the village. Really? Because of Corona? Abba, what are you going to do there? Why can't you sit home, take time, work on the project which you must be pregnant of? That, that, so that is why hopeless people are just moved up and down. Hopeless people are just moving up and down. We are closing three months next Sunday. Can you sit and say, what am I pregnant of? What are you pregnant of? What are you pregnant of? I'm pregnant of books this year. I told you, I will publish books this year. I, that is my pregnancy. My pregnancy is to see you sitting, standing on the faith. That is why we are putting all the structure, because we want to reach out to you no, no matter where you are, for you to hear the word of God. That's why we have the WhatsApp. We are having messages day after day, in the morning, in the evening, because I am pregnant of your greatness. I am pregnant of your blessing. I am pregnant of your breakthrough. Abba, I am pregnant of your advancement. 
I want to let you know, <laughs> praise God, there is hope for you. There is hope for you. But you must define your pregnancy. What are you pregnant of? That's why hopeless people are moved everywhere. They are moved everywhere. They are just there. He takes his, uh, his, uh, his big, big luggage on his head. Where are you going? Village. <laughs> My friend, stay home. Stay what? Abba. <laughs> he takes his big bag. Ah, where are you going? I go to the village. Who do, do what? <laughs> Who told you there is no corona where you are going? I wish we could take this time to sit down and think of, of our pregnancy. I am pregnant of big projects. I am pregnant of that supermarket. I am pregnant of multiplying that shop. I take this opportunity to sit because there is hope for those who are alive. I want to close my message today. By telling you what God has told me and what we'll be praying for today. As we are having our online service, the first one, I mean, uh, as a church, not being in our uh, uh, normal place of worship. God told me that three things that he wants us to repent of. Three things God wants us to repent of. Number one, God said, my people have rejected me and replaced me with idols. Take notes. God say, my people have rejected me. They have replaced me with idols. What is an idol? An idol is anything, anybody who takes the place of God and becomes our God. That is the, an, an idol. An idol is anything or anybody who takes the place of God and becomes our God. God wants us to repent from that. Your phone has taken the place of God. Your Facebook account has taken the place of God. Your money has taken the place of God. You know, your job has taken the place of God. Your husband, your wife, even your children have taken the place of God. We have rejected God and replaced him with idols. I want to challenge you. I'm closing because we say the service will finish at 12. Consider how many hours you spend at work and how many minutes you spend in prayer. When pastor says, pray 30 minutes, for you it is like, what, 30? Do, do, what, what will I be telling God in 30 minutes? Oh God, oh, oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, God. Even what I say and what I don't say, see you know, you know, you know my heart. Please, God wants 
going to heal the land. But let us give God his place. Let us give God back his place. I'm telling you what we have to do for God to heal our land. We are talking with our friends for hours, 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 but prayer. Phew. Today, God wants us to throw away the idols who have taken the place of God. And you know what? All over the world, it is very clear whether you have money or not, that virus is not respecting your, your, your money. See, there is a, a prominent person in the country, Sijui, where, who is dead, killed by the virus. In your budget, in your budget, God is not there. God is not there. He's not there in the tithe, he's not there in offering, he's there, he's nowhere. Everything is my right, my, my car, my whatever, my father, my mother, my hubby, my Wi-Fi. Let us bring back God. Let us give, give, give back to God his place. Praise God. The second thing. That God told me that you have to pray and repent of. It is the people have rejected God as their king. We have rejected God as our king and we have decided to do what is right in our own eyes. We have rejected. You know, I mean, I could hear God telling me I am also suffering rejection. God is a, God is rejected. You think you are the only one to be rejected? Ah, pastor, pray for me. Pray for me for the spirit of rejection. See, we are rejecting God. How many people ask for prayer before starting their business? How many today? No. This pastor is good for trouble. When the business is shutting down, we call him. But when we start, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he will know how much money we have, so I don't want to involve him in those things. Sorry, no. Please, let me, let, let me tell you today, whatever we do without the guidance of God, let me tell you, it is a curse. It is what? Isaiah chapter 30 verse 1, the Bible says, Cast be the people who do their things without me. You want to go wherever you want to go. Do you inquire from God? Are you inquiring from God? You are starting that relationship. I see that man who has come, who loves you, see Julie, what did you inquire from God? Now, you didn't inquire from God. Now, he becomes a luggage to the pastor. Why don't we inquire from God? Why don't you ask God for guidance? Now you see, because the virus is worldwide, people are claiming, oh God, come, show us the way. So that is what God wants us. He is rejected. God is a rejected God. Finally, the people have rejected God's laws as an absolute guide of their life. We have rejected the law of God. We have rejected the law of God. The real virus is not Corona. The real virus is lesbianism. Same-sex marriage. Now, do, do, do you think you own the world? You don't own the world. There is a God. 
in heaven. Men sleeping with men. That is the real virus. That is the real, 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 real. And do you think that God is here and he's just watching and say, ah, no, ah, yeah, we can do, ah, the gay, the, 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 the lesbian, lesbianism, and gayism, and all that, and the free sex, man, uh, between a man and a woman, you come, you know, just uh, come, uh, let us stay. You have even not paid the dowry, you are just staying there. I don't care, I don't need anyone to tell me anything. That is why God is showing us that there is an honor. He's the owner of the earth. He's what? He's the owner of the earth. Now, what what of life? I told you when we were starting the year that this year will be tough. Now, Corona will pass, another one will come. Eh? <laughs> Jenny said, God have mercy. Yeah, God will have mercy, but we have to know, to, to be aware. We are joking with God. We are committing fornication. We are committing adultery. We are committing abortion. We are unforgiving. We gossip. We are unfaithful. We commit all kinds of sins. So, the way God responds to the sins of the world, one of the ways is to send a plague. To make people come back to him, and then you will heal the land. Let us pray and repent. I'm closing for today. For the few minutes ahead of us, wherever you are, let us lift our voices and let us make those three prayers ours today. Let us tell God, Father, we repent because we have rejected you and replaced you with idols. Lord, have mercy on us. Go ahead and pray. <coughs> Go ahead and pray. Even in that moment, there are people who are still not understanding. We are who have rejected God. We are no longer praying. We are no longer seeking the face of God. God is not in our budget. God is not in our plan. How many millions are being spent for the virus? But when it's thinking about uh, uh, to push the kingdom of God, people will say, why this money to go to, to there? Why money should go to the church? Why should money go for the, for the poor? But millions are going for the virus. Let us wake up. Please lift your voice wherever you are. Tell God. Forgive us. We have rejected you. We have replaced you with our idols. Pray, pray, pray. Lift your voice. Let us tell God. You Babro Shemala. The idol today is money. The idol today is sex. The idol today is your husband. The idol is The idol is your job. The idol is your work. Lift your voice, my friend. Let us call upon the Lord.
Rakata Shara. We have rejected you, O God. My friend, listen to me, listen to me. Today, you have to destroy that idol. Every idol has an altar. Every idol has an altar. Every idol steals your time. Every idol takes the place of God. That is our problem today. We don't have time to go for God. Now, today destroy that idol. If it is your fault, you spend your time on fault, but you don't pray. You are on fault throughout. Why can't you switch off when it's come the moment where I want to talk to my God? My phone is not off all the time. There's a moment I switch it off because I need God more than I need anything else. Your money is your idol. You are stingy, you don't share. You are stingy, you are selfish. You are selfish. May God deliver you yourself. You are your own idol. You yourself. You are your own idol. You are your own idol. Your needs are your idol. The visa, the children, the job, the whatever marriage you want is your idol. Your idol. Your idol. Today, the sorry idol. Can we stand on your feet, please? Wherever we are, destroy the idol. Destroy the altar behind the idol. Even Kenya as a country, alcohol is an idol. Drinking is an idol. You are black. Destroy the altar. Destroy the idol. And tell God, Lord, take your place. Jane can sing a song to the Lord as we proceed in our prayer. My friend, we are praying. We have some minutes to close the service. Go ahead and pray. Destroy the idol in your heart. Destroy the idol in your heart. Destroy the idol in your heart. And tell God, Lord, come and take your place. Take your place in my budget. Take your place in my finances. Take your place in my life. Go ahead. We pray.
us because we do things on our own. We don't do we don't consult God. There is one of us who told me, Pastor, you know what? All my my the people who walk around me, they have clothes. Only my shop, only my business is working in that place. People should learn to put God first. Don't wait trouble to seek after God. We have rejected God. You want to travel, you don't need to ask God whether should I travel or not. You want to do business, you don't inquire from God. You want to get engaged at in marriage or in any relationship. Just as your heart is pulling you, you just go. No, no. I don't step in anything unless I inquire from the Lord. I don't step in any relationship until I ask God, is it you? Are you there? Stop relying on yourself. It is pride. Can we pray and tell God, Lord, oh, forgive us? Even as churches, we are having our annual plan. It's okay, it's good. But what the place of God? Pray and tell God, Lord, oh, forgive us. Even the, the relationship I am in, I did not inquire from God. I just step myself there. I'm having trouble now, and I'm asking God to come to intervene. How will God intervene? Lord, forgive me. The relationship I am in, I never inquire from you. The things I'm doing, even the ministry, this ministry is from God. I don't do anything without God. Pray and tell God, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive us as a nation. It is not to call the church because of the virus. We need to call the church even in the normal decisions of the land. We should not wait for the virus to call the churches. What are we doing when things are well? Lord, forgive our country. Forgive the nations. We have rejected you, O oh God. Now we are coming back to you. Forgive us, O oh God. You took that house. Did you inquire from the Lord? Oh God Almighty, forgive us. We repent as a church, as a nation. We are not involved in God. In our relationship, God is not there. Forgive us. 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 Oh, hallelujah. To ask God for forgiveness worldwide. Lesbianism has become a lifestyle. Gayism has become a lifestyle. Free sex has become a lifestyle. Stealing is a lifestyle. Cheating is a lifestyle. Fornication is a lifestyle. Adultery is a lifestyle. Hatred is a lifestyle. Abortion is a lifestyle. You are bought as you want because you are the law to yourself. You say, oh, okay, I don't need to do anything. It is a murder. You are a murderer. We need to ask God, forgive me. God is a merciful God. I'm not judging you. You know I don't judge you. But I just want to come back to God, to repent to God for all the fornication. 
sleeping everywhere, with every man on the streets, with every woman on the streets, even with trees. We are sleeping with trees, with animals, all kind of things. Do we think that God is stupid? God is not stupid, God. We are gossipers. We are unforgiving. We are unfaithful. We commit all kind of sins. And sin today is no longer a teaching in our midst. Now, lift your voice as we are closing. Tell God, forgive the world. Forgive the world. Forgive the earth and heal the land. Go ahead and pray. Pray and tell God, Lord, forgive the earth and heal the heart. Forgive the earth, even as nation. Corruption. Corruption is a virus. Corruption is more than corona. Corruption is more than corona. We are bribing. We are making people's life difficult. Somebody should have a document. We bribe. We want him to bribe so that we will get something in our pocket. Abba. Lord, forgive us as a nation. Forgive us as a nation. We are stealing. We are thieves. We are cheaters. My God and my Father, there is lust in our heart. My God, forgive us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are rebellious. We are rebellious. Sleeping with men, men between men. Women with women. Men with animals. Women with animals. Oh God, we are adulterous. We are committing abortion every, every year and there. We don't want to take responsibility. Lord, forgive us. Forgive us as a nation, as a church. Forgive us, oh God. We expropriate people's land. We are grabbing the land of others. Lord, forgive us. We are committing witchcraft. We are committing witchcraft in the land. We are killing in the land of Kenya. There is a lot of bloodshed. That is the real virus. Oh God, have mercy on us. My friend, you better pray. My friend, we better pray. We are repenting before God because the real virus is not Corona. The real virus is the hatred in your heart. You hate your wife. You hate your husband. You hate your children. In the name of Jesus, forgive us, oh God. My friend, we pray. We repent before the Lord. Forgive the land. Forgive the land. Oh, forgive the land. You have taken somebody's money. You have never given back. Oh, God. Forgive the heart. And in the heart. Pray, my friend. Oh, my friend, my friend, my friend. We are at the end of the service. We want to pray, God. Pray for Kenya. 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 How many people we are killing every day? How many blood? We are shedding Rabra Kadasha Rabra Bashara. Oh Lord, forgive us as a nation. Forgive us as a nation. Forgive us as a nation. Forgive us. Forgive the land. Forgive the land. Forgive the land. Forgive the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alipo Yesu. We sing Alipo Yesu. Because all things are possible with God. God is able. Oh Lord, forgive. Hallelujah. Let us sing again. And we are closing there. And we go to give our offerings and our tithe. And as we are closing the service. Please. Go ahead.
has forgiven us. Now, just let us pray and tell, believe God for the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. Let us thank God because of the blood. Pray. Tell God, Father, thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Can we say thank you because God has forgiven us? When we ask God to forgive us, he forgives. He is, so we are forgiven. We are forgiven. God said, if you repent, I will forgive and heal the land. God will heal the land as a result of forgiveness. He forgives us and he heals the land. Lord, thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for your forgiveness. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name now. It's time to give our offering. Well, those who are on ground here, we give our offering uh, straight away. You are at home. You know, that is the area where I become a bit weak. I can't talk a lot about money, but you know how you can reach us to send your, your tithe or your offering. If you send via Mpesa to my number, please specify whether it is a tithe or an offering, then God will bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let us, let us give our offering. Tabitha, come to pray for the offering. Uh, Let's pray for the offering. Father, we thank you and we worship you, Lord, my Father, for this day, Lord, my Father. We thank you, Lord, for the offering that you have given unto us. May you sanctify it, Lord, my Father. May you bless it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. While we are giving our offering, uh, the, the service is, uh, is over here. And you know, we are closing the service with praise and worship. Uh, my daughter here will come and lead us in five minutes of praise as we close the service. Because I want to release the blessing on you. I want to speak blessing on you as we are giving our offering. Already, as we give, Jane, you come, sing song to the Lord, uh, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' precious name. Please, Jane, come straight, sing a song to the Lord, and in five minutes, we close the service. God bless you, wherever you are, for those who are giving, the Lord stretch his hand upon you in Jesus' name.
church. Our service is over here. Bless, send me the name of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Now, let us say together, year 2020, for manifested glory, the Lord shall arise on me, and his glory shall be seen on me. In Jesus' name, amen. You have a blessed week. You know, I love all of you from my heart. And we meet on Tuesday. We have our Bible study. And Friday, Penyon, we'll still be here. And we'll meet uh, uh, the next Sunday for the service in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday. Blessed week to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.